Hey folks, Joel here with Braden Ford again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use adaptive cruise control. So we're going to be taking a trip on the 401, setting the cruise control, setting the distances, everything. So if you just picked up a new Ford or Lincoln, I'm going to teach you how to use it. Stay tuned. All right, folks, so step number one of using the adaptive cruise control is going to make sure we're on the right settings on the big 12 inch touchscreen up here. So what you're going to do, you're going to want to hit features, driver assistance, and the driver assistant, you're going to see all your uh, all your safety features right here. This one, cruise control. So what you want to do, you want to make sure that's set to cruise control. There's intelligent cruise control. We're going to deal with that in another video. Adaptive cruise control is what we're going to be doing here. If you do normal cruise control, it's going to turn off adaptive braking, all that kind of stuff. You want to make sure it's on this setting or it's not going to work. Everything I'm going to show you won't work until this is set to adaptive cruise. All right, stay tuned. All right, folks, so we're on the 401 now. So what I'm going to do, if you look at this side of the steering wheel, I'm going to turn the adaptive cruise control on. So I hit this button right here to turn it on. On the screen up there, you're going to see now I have four spaces in front of me. Now it's not set yet, but it's reading everything. Now if I press set up or down, it's going to actually set my speed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get up to 115 and I'm going to press set. So now you can see on the bottom right there, I'm set to 115. And, uh, and if we look at my spaces here, so if I press this button over here, it's gonna actually show me how much space is gonna be in between me and the vehicle in front of me. So right now I have four spaces, which generally speaking is four car lengths. Now if you watch that 115 kilometers an hour, you're seeing that's going down. So I'm not touching the gas or the brake right now. It's automatically gonna read me between that Ford Fusion up in front of us here. So I can tell exactly how fast he's going. I'm not gonna get any closer or further from him. Now, if I want to adjust because I want to get a little bit closer to him, once again, I'm going to hit this button right here and you're going to see up on that screen how it goes four spaces, three spaces. Watch my speed. I'm going to now speed up a little bit so I can get a little bit closer to that vehicle. And then once again, we're going to be following his speed exactly. So then if I go to the closest, so three, two, one. So now I'm going to be one car length in front. Now you're going to see us catch right up to that fusion up ahead of us and then it's gonna keep that same distance between us and that fusion. So once again, I haven't touched the gas or the brake at all, just a nice relaxed drive. Now, what I'd like to show you is I'd like to show you passing, but uh, I have a little bit of traffic on my left side here. So we'll, uh, we'll wait for a good time and then we'll come right back and we'll show you uh, how it speeds back up when there's no one in front of you. Stay tuned. All right, so here's the, pa the passing portion, guys. So I'm gonna speed up to 115. So I have my cruise control set to 115. I'm going to catch up to this truck and it's going to slow me down to keep me a safe distance like we just spoke about. If I want to get around him, signal left. I'm going to pull into this lane. You're going to watch my speed as it decreases and automatically without me touching the gas or the brake, it's going to bring me right back up to my designated speed that I have it set at of 115. He pulled off the road so I just get back in the right lane here and anything that comes in front of us that's going slower than 115, it's just gonna slow us down to that speed. Once again, you can set your safe distances, close, far. I have it close just because it's a little bit more exaggerated, just so we can show you on the video exactly how it works, but if you'd rather have it four car lengths, three car lengths, whatever you'd like to do, um, you can do that. Anyway, stay tuned for more, and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by again for another episode. Uh, hope you learned lots. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down there and I'll be sure to answer them for you. And once again, like and subscribe for more. Thank you.